The chairman of South Korea's Samsung Group, Lee Kuan Hee, died on Sunday at the age of 78 after a long illness. From the late 80s, he was an icon in the development of South Korea as an economic powerhouse. With more, our Om Ji Young is outside the funeral hall where his funeral is taking place. Ji Young. Devin, I'm here at Samsung Medical Center in Seoul's Gangnam-gu district, where a memorial for the late Samsung chairman Lee Kuan Hee is being held. Visitors are coming to pay their respects for the men who made the South Korean company Samsung a global household name. Lots of reporters are here waiting in front of the entrance of the funeral home to see who visits and trying to get a few words from them. The heads of Samsung, Samsung's affiliates and figures in financial circles came to pay their respects. Many politicians have also visited to express their condolences. Take a listen. I am very sad that an honorable man has passed away. Lee implanted the spirit of being number one into every aspect of the business world. He has always treated me warmly. The late chairman Lee Kuan Yee has upgraded the status of South Korean businesses, including the semiconductor sector, and contributed to creating jobs. I pay him respect and thank him. President Moon Jae-in sent a floor of tribute and a message of condolence to Lee's family and the U.S. ambassador to South Korea, Harry Harris, visited and paid his respects. The International Olympic Committee on Sunday also expressed its condolences as E was a significant figure in South Korean sports and served as an IOC member for more than a decade. Well, ji Samsung said Lee Kuan Hee's funeral will be small in accordance with the wishes of the late chairman and his family. The memorial altar also off-limits to the media and the public. That's right, Devin. Samsung earlier said that they respectfully declined visitors from others. Uh, as part of the prevention measures, all mourners should wear masks, electronically check in by scanning their QR code, and get their temperatures checked before entering the altar. An online memorial altar has been set up at Samsung's internal system for employees to mourn Yi's death. Yi's body was placed in a coffin on Monday morning at around 9 a.m. in a one Buddhist style, as Yi and his family are followers of the religion. Yi's memorial altar was set up in the basement of Samsung Medical Center on Sunday as Yi was hospitalized at this facility for more than six years following a heart attack in 2014. The funeral is expected to run for four days, ending with Yi's burial on Wednesday. His burial site will reportedly be in Yongin, south of Seoul, where his ancestors are located. That's all I have for now. Back to you, Devin. All right, I'm Ji Young. Thank you for that.